ಜೊಮ್ಯಾಟೋ so this uh, as their uh, target as well as quality difference so we have to meet their expectations so this, this is the quality so how to improve uh, quality quality uh, for this thing we have to first identify customers needs customers needs depends on the work so it is like a uh uh what is their target first of all they will say this is our target for this week and this is our quality for this week so uh, they will clearly mention before giving any process to the uh, uh, per, uh, uh organization so they clearly mentions in the release and all so we have to identify what is their customers needs next one comes like we have to document the process for example see uh, we don't know right any process immediately so we have to document the process details so what is this process related to so what is protest, uh, process contains everything we have to document this documentation will help uh, in the future for any uh, person who works for that particular process so next comes like we have to fix the problem problem for the customers so fix the problem in the sense whenever a problem uh, occurs uh, resolving that we have to resolve that problem so that resolving the problem is the first priority so for example during our client in free client time uh, we uh, whenever we get escalation uh, for that particular uh, uh, thing what we did know that client the infosys and we uh, connecting live and we are fixing that uh, issue in the live thing so this was happened during the infosys process so maybe uh, it is different uh, the fixing the process sorry the problem problem in the sense errors so uh, we have to fix the problem and uh, we have to fix as soon as possible we should not delay in fixing the problem so we will get good feedback if we fix uh, that particular problem as soon as so we will get good feedback from the customers also so next one is we have to find rca rca in the sense root cause analysis so in the same thing we did for in the infosys time we are maintaining rca so rca like what is the root cause what is the cause for that particular mistake what is the main mistake so uh, we are not doing uh, any mistake by knowingly right we are unknowingly doing mistakes so first of all find out the mistake maybe we don't have any proper time and uh, training we lack of knowledge in the process so we have so many uh, things so we have to find the root cause analysis next comes like uh, improve internal communications Uh, this uh, is related to like see clients are giving uh, they are explaining their uh, uh, what are the things uh, we, they are expecting from us so uh, they are uh, telling every detail to the business heads uh, so who are bringing process to us so business heads has to communicate this uh, thing with their managers next the managers will explain their uh, uh, clients expectations the needs and all with the tls so the communication should be uh proper clear so so that we can uh, give good quality in work so next comes like focus on training so training is very very important uh, to do any quality work or any work uh, if we take it as a target see if we don't have any proper trainer uh, uh, for that process uh, we are not able to uh, give uh, any efficiency show efficiency in the work so Uh, we, uh, so TL has to provide proper uh, training to that particular uh, who are nominating as a trainer. So we have to give proper training on the <coughs> process. So next comes like uh, uh, we are giving training to our employees. That particular train, if we have sufficient good knowledge or good command on that particular process, uh, he will give good training to the uh, his. Uh, employees employees in this is the uh, who are working on that particular process so uh, training is also one of the major factor 
So next comes the monitor the trainees. So after giving the training, what happens? Maybe one week of training, two week, or maybe maximum one month depends on the process. Uh, once they complete the training, they will uh, move under training period in the sense of uh, direct live projects. But they are still in the uh, training. Maybe one month of training. After uh, it is like practical in practical concept. What we have to do? We have to monitor these the trainees. How they are doing the work? Are they understood the concept properly or not? So we have to monitor these trainees. Next one is the team header or uh, on regular basis. See, every day uh, the things are changing based on the process. For example, in Zomato process, uh, now and then their uh, <clears throat> updates are keep on changing. So if a TL or a the pro, uh, manager, whoever it is. They have to uh, take team huddle uh, before uh, login to the uh, day. So what happens uh, if any changes in that uh, uh, process or update? Uh, the train the employees will get update. Oh, this is the new update. We have to work on this uh, on this basis. So this will help them to work more efficient and effectively. So team huddle is one of the important thing. Then the then they have to conduct regular meetings. Meetings in the sense, maybe in the management level or with including TLs and all. So what happens? So they will get proper update everything. If they get proper update, then only the employees are work. Uh, then only employees can work efficiently and effectively for the quality work. So <coughs> team meetings also <coughs> very very important. <coughs> Sorry. Next one, like uh, we need to we need to support. motivate and appreciation see uh, the people who are working in that particular process uh, they need support from the uh, managers or whoever it is from the top management if they if we they get own support pro proper uh, support from the them they they don't have any interest right they feel like oh why i have to work and also support is then very very important and they have to get motivate every time we have to motivate them uh, and we have to appreciate appreciate them because appreciation is one of the uh, what happens if we appreciate any good employee the work the not only good employee if they say some people are not uh, in average level right for them also we need appreciation because uh, if we appreciate them they will uh, they will motivate they will get uh, more interest in that particular thing so uh, we have to give feedback to them this is your mistake this in this way you have to work we have to give ideas how to improve their quality how to reach the target everything if we do on daily basis or once in a week if we give the in the form of feedback definitely they are uh, able to achieve the quality uh, and uh, target so uh, if we follow this uh, simple uh, and easy ways to achieve the quality definitely we will uh, work a uh, good uh, uh, and uh, we achieve good name for the organization so if we have good quality in work they, uh, then we can satisfy our custom uh, customer needs uh, we get positive feedback from our customers and uh, and one more thing is uh, uh, if we get positive feedback uh, from the customers what will happen in the future we get more customers right so our uh, companies they know this company is a good company in achieving the quality and the targets and all so we will get more clients we will get more job opportunities so it is good for us only so uh what for anything we have need this uh, whatever the steps i have told if we follow these things we definitely achieve good quality in the work thank you uh listeners we don't have any updates so on this details so we will uh, meet you again tomorrow same time thank you dc live thank you team bye bye